I got a picture in my head what I want it to look like, but I got to figure out how to build it. And thanks for tuning in to this second episode of our custom ultimate chicken house build. It's going to be incredible. You can already see what's going on here. It's got eight sides, guys. It's like a chicken gazebo. Octagonal. Custom chicken gazebo. That's what it is. Maybe that's what we'll call it. I don't know. Pavilion chicken, pavilion chicken gazebo, chicken house, chicken coop. I don't know. It's weird. There's like seven coops in here, guys. So is it just one coop? I can't call it a chicken coop. It's like maybe a chicken gazebo because it's octagonal. How you doing guys? Chad here. Welcome to another episode, Chronicles of a Farmstay Startup, here at the Hidden Spring Farm! Thanks for tuning into my channel. The interior walls, once I have the interior walls done, then I need to work on some roof trusses, figure out the slope of the roof and the pitch and all that. And again guys, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. I don't have any blueprints for this. This is all coming out of my head. It's a vision that I had for my ultimate chicken house building. It's a different story. A lot of angles. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget, pound that like button for me, please. You got to pound the like, guys. And subscribe if you like the video and if you think you might be interested into what we're doing here at the Hidden Spring Farm. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you check out the channel and uh, see if it's something you'd be interested in here at the Hidden Spring Farm where we're starting to farm stay from scratch. Um, so it's a lot of work. We got years and years of projects here at the farm and uh, I, I feel like I'm enjoying what I'm doing here. So hopefully you're enjoying it too. So thank you for watching and enjoy the episode guys. I am making some really, really good progress on this chicken house, guys. Really good progress. So I basically have all of the interior coop walls built and up. I still have a little bit of plumbing and leveling to do. Um, but I left this one section clear. And I'm going to leave that section clear and the outer section clear so that I can get in and out while I'm building this center column. I need to build the center column here, you know, and that's going to go up and it's going to hold the roof. Do a lot of structural work for that. To give you an idea of what's going on here, this is the interior wall to the coop. This little opening right here, this is going to be a window. I don't know yet if it'll be a real window, like a plexiglass window, or if it'll just be a chicken wire. I don't know yet. I'll have to see how cold it's gonna get. I might start off with just some chicken wire, just so that I can see in, eh? So that I can come in and I can take a peek. This 
is the doorway. You can see it's seven feet tall and this will allow me to open the door and go into the coop. Now I'm standing inside the coop. I know it's full of weeds, but never mind the weeds. I'm going to get rid of the weeds. But now I'm inside the coop and uh, that's going to allow me to check in on the chickens, feed them if I have to, water them and clean out the bedding. A lot of work still left to do. I'm nowhere near done. But you can see it's starting to take shape, right guys? It's really starting to take shape. Yeah. Hopefully you guys got a good understanding as to what it is I'm trying to accomplish here. Anyways, let me get back to work. that white-tailed deer there guys unfortunately this is with my phone and that's as close of a zoom as I can get let's see if he moves Sorry for that interruption there, guys. And then I saw there was a white-tailed deer running around in the field. I can actually see a flock of turkeys, but the camera can't pick it up, so I'll see if I can get a better shot of the turkeys. There was a turkeys out there and a deer right together, side by side. They were living in harmony. How you doing, Elvis? Ah, uh, you having a little less conversation? Ah, uh, Elvis, you having a little less conversation with your roadies? Okay guys, I've been working at this thing like crazy. 
and I'm just at the point where I need to close in this wall because I need to finish structuring my uppercase windows up there and I can't do that unless I finish that wall and put on the joists. But what I did is I put a whole bunch of gravel in here and uh, that's basically going to be my flooring in here. I was going to go with wood chips and then I said, oh, I have this little bit of gravel. I might as well use gravel. But yeah, now I'm standing inside my chicken house. You can see I put these and I don't know what I'm going to do in there yet. I might have some shelving. I might have some little some little doors that you open and then that'll be a little brooder section inside. That's what I'm thinking anyways. And uh, it's 10 feet tall. These, these posts, they're 10 feet tall, but it's not tall enough um, because this, it's already, it's already eight feet tall to the top of the walls. And then I got some windows that I'm putting up there to let some natural light in for me. And that's really for me, not for the chickens. Um, although it may, it may help the chickens too because each one of these sections right here is going to be a window and that'll be a window for me to look in. I don't think I'll make it an actual window window, probably just like chicken wire, you know. Okay, it's getting late guys. The sun's going down past the custom ultimate duck house and I'm running out of gas. And I don't mean gasoline guys, I mean energy. So to recap, what I've done is we have all the interior coop walls built. We have all the exterior run walls built. And I structured all of the roof from the run all the way to this inner wall. You can see I've structured it all. It's all perfectly spaced. It's all measured out. All the angles are accounted for. It's very difficult. I don't know what I was thinking. I pull off these miracles, but uh, it looks pretty cool I must say it looks pretty cool oh yeah and I have the interior center column done I mean it's not done done but it's up I got the footings in and they're all plumb and straight and they're they're pretty secure they're a little bit wobbly but once I connect the once I connect the roof truss from here to here, it'll be strong. But it's not tall enough. I need to go like another maybe four feet to get the right slope because I want the slope of the first roof to be equivalent to the slope of the second roof. That's what I want. I don't want, I want it to look good. You know what I mean, guys? So I'm standing right now in side my coop. This is where I will be walking around and entering each individual coop. Isn't that cool? I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> anyway, let me give you a little shot of it from a distance. Let's walk over to the center island here and you can see the, the look of it. It's looking pretty sick, I must say. Check it out, guys. That's the perfect spot for it, too. Oh, you'll have to stay tuned for that third episode in the build series. I'm excited, though. I hope you guys are excited, because this is sick. I mean, if something like this exists on the internet, nobody has definitely YouTubed it, and I'm YouTubing it. I really do appreciate you watching guys. I hope you're excited as I am about this chicken house build and you stay tuned for that next episode, eh? 
Um, there's going to be a lot happening in that third episode. And don't forget to click that subscribe if you like this build and you like what we're doing here at the farm, guys. Really appreciate you watching. Pound that like. Share it with your friends. And you guys take care, okay?